Hey everyone and welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV where I still got a cough. In fact, this is just like a minute after the previous one. Uh, yeah, I, I listened back to the audio. Sounds fine. I was worried that I would sound miserable just from lingering, lingering like effects from the cough. But no, it sounds fine. We're gonna keep going. And uh, if it doesn't sound fine, oh well. Unfortunately, the Warrior of Light is not allowed to rest while uh, even while recovering from a cough. We still have schemes, best laid schemes that we need to uncover. Alright, Ilbert, let's hope we can recover this mess. After y'all uh, kind of screwed it up by killing our in the person we were going to interrogate. Ilbert will look nothing more than to have this incident forgotten. No kidding. I will join the first in their hunt for the Dust White Cell Swords. If the gods are good, we will catch them before they escape into the Black Shroud. In the meantime, I ask that you deliver these weapons to Uldan in my stead. Entrust them to the third Yu Yu Hase. He will take care of the rest. Sounds good. Pray take the Black Marketeer's weapons in that crate and deliver them to Ulda. All right, will do. Let's grab the crates and get on over to Yu Yu Hase. So that's gonna take us to Ulda. I'll just go ahead and meet you there, I think. Alright, looks like Yu Yu Hase is going to be over here in the Hussing Strip area. Well, no, not Hussing Strip. Near the Hussing Strip between the Gold Court and Sapphire Avenue Exchange and Pearl Lane. Hello there, Yu Yu Hase. We've also got Wilred and Alien. Hello there. Did you hear, my friend? I've received my first official assignment as a full fledged member of the Crystal Braves. I'm proud of you, Wilred. You've come a long way. Why, Satora, this is a surprise. Resh wished for me to thank you for helping us to rescue her from Castrum Sentry. How fortunate that we could meet again so soon. Of course, it was my pleasure to help. Good to see all these familiar faces out and about. Hello, Yu Yu Hase. Ah, the Warrior of Light, ever reliable friend to the Crystal Braves. You have my deepest thanks for your assistance in Kurthus. Now, what brings you to us this day? I have a crate of weapons that we found in a failed mission. A gift of weapons from a certain black marketeer, courtesy of Captain Elbert, you say? Understood. Once we've cataloged the contents, I'll have them delivered to the Hall of Flames. This cannot be everything, can it? Briel stated with confidence that there would be a far greater quantity of weapons. A blatant falsehood. Clearly, Riol is unfamiliar with the way of Uldan merchants, who ever strive to present themselves as greater than they are. We should be thankful that his information was not completely erroneous and that we managed to achieve anything of worth at all. It's still something worth celebrating, isn't it, Lieutenant? Besides, we've got more important things to worry about, like fighting those Garleans up north. There'll be no fighting if I have anything to say about it. Our orders are to stand watch, not to see glory in battle. If you have no further need of us, then I shall take my unit to the Cerulean Processing Plant. Time for the fourth to earn their keep, eh? Fight well, Elian, for the freedom of all. Excellent work as always, my friend. Rest assured that the Immortal Flames will hear of your contribution. Until we meet again. Sora, a word if it please ya. We were just talking about you. Not here. Look for me at the Sapphire Avenue Exchange. No need for a whistling this time, don't you worry. Right, that's how we called him out back in the uh, Titan arc. Uh, right, Riel? You are certain your information was correct, right? It at the very least wasn't wrong. We did find the Black Marketeer and the weapons. But something's feeling real off about this. Thanks for indulging me requests. Few places than it better than a market for privacy, I find. All the hustle and bustle of commerce means most conversations go unnoticed. I'll get to the point. At the burning wall, when you and the captain interrupted the exchange, what happened? Tell me everything. Leave no detail out. Uh, well, I took care of some thugs outside while Ilbert and his crew moved in. 
while I was waiting outside the tunnel, uh, I heard a scream, rushed in, and the black marketeer was dead. Hmm, that's not quite how the first told it. These dust whites they were chasing. Latest word is that we lost the trail. But you never saw him yourself. Not before the fighting started and not after. Something ain't right. I don't know what it is, but I can feel it in me bones. I'm not daft enough to be misled by some merchant's drunken boasts. Our information was reliable, goddammit. I know he purchased those weapons. Hmm. As if I've never deciphered a moneylender's books or had to follow a transaction back to its source. Did plenty of that back when the Braves were getting started, believe me. The commander wanted assurances that we weren't taking gill from the wrong sort of benefactors. Good to know he was on top of that. Of course, these days the money flows like water and the first and third get the shiniest new toys. Forgive me, friend. I have a lot on my mind these days and I appreciate you lending an ear. Right then, let's get back to it. Something feels off. Something feels real off. Satoru, can you hear me? This is Tataru. Your presence is urgently requested at the Rising Stones. Please come and see me as soon as you are able. Oof. Things feel bad right now. Things feel bad. Alright, let's go meet up with Tataru. But someone some here someone somewhere has been tricked and misled, it feels like. Either real got bought bad information, but I trust him. Or Ilbert's crew fucked up. Or some something has gone wrong here. And I don't like it. Thank you for coming so quickly, Satara. We have a guest from Ishgard who wishes to speak with you. A most, um, determined lady by all indications. Alright then. Um, I'll talk to her in a minute. First I want to check in with the rest of the Scions. See how things are going. That lady knight from Ishgard quite, cuts quite a gallant figure, doesn't she? Well, where is she? I don't see her. I would love to know who this is. Considering the sudden arrival of foreign envoys and the like, preparing suitable meals at the Rising Stones can prove to be an interesting challenge. We were able to locate those elusive manuscripts in the archives of the Thaumaturge's Guild. I had not spoken much with the new Guildmasters, but thankfully they were quite willing to accommodate us in our search. Well, glad you are able to find some progress. Though it may seem tedious when compared with the smiting of terrible foes, poring over crumbling scrolls is one of Scion's most important duties. Without the illumination of knowledge, we but vainly flail as specters in the dark. Well, hopefully they give us the lead we need in building our Blade of Lights. I traveled to Uldal to meet with Thancred's friend, the one who promised us that rare ore. And she began cursing me with words I've only ever heard about from the mouths of pirates. I still have no idea what she was so angry about. In hindsight, mayhap sending a lady in my stead was not the wisest of decisions. Ah, pray ignore my ramblings. She was totally looking to hook up with Thancred, wasn't she? Uh, whoever this friend is. I must confess, the relationship between those crystal formations and the destruction of the Asians quite escapes me. Professor Lambertain has published a thorough study on corrupted crystals and their properties. I highly recommend you procure yourself a copy of his work. I've worked with Lambertain. He kinda sucks. Alright then, next time on Final Fantasy XIV, the Rising Chorus? Let's see what this foreign envoy has to say. I'll see everyone next time for that. <laughs>